For months, the 41 Action News investigators fought to get Missouri's Department of Social Services to release records involving two Kansas City cases of child abuse and neglect. Finally, the state agreed to hand over the documents. Here's investigator Melissa Yeager. Well, Mark and Jody, on the Missouri law states when a child dies or nearly dies of abuse or neglect, their records with social services should be made public. Unfortunately, we found the department is not always following the spirit of that law. June 22, 2012, officers discovered 10 year old LP starving, locked in a closet covered in her own feces. LP only weighed a third of what a child her age should weigh. July 5, 2012, a social worker discovered 8 year old GW locked in her bedroom, surrounded by urine. GW reportedly told police she was locked in the room for a month at a time, was not allowed to use the restroom, and hadn't been fed regularly. October 17, 2012, four year old Lucas Webb died from blunt force trauma to his abdomen. During the investigation, detectives learned that in August, Lucas had told an adult his stepmother, Melissa Webb, kicked him in the stomach with her foot. In all three of these horrific cases, the 41 Action News investigators requested Department of Social Services records. And months later, we've received nothing, with the department routinely denying our request. Without sunshine and, and light on what's going on, we don't... People don't know that change needs to happen. Christina Real is with the Child Advocacy Institute in San Diego, which reviews and ranks states for the openness of their child welfare systems. The institute gave Missouri law a B minus because the law does allow for the release of information, but lets the director have discretion over which records are released. Unfortunately, the department is taking every opportunity to not release information. Real says not releasing what happened to these three children is a missed opportunity. When we are talking about children that die, we need to know what happened and why it happened so that we can save the next child. Just this afternoon, the Department of Social Services told us they hope to have the records of LP ready at the end of the week. They also have decided to release Lucas Webb's records. However, they did not give us a timeline on when we could expect to see those records. I'm investigator Melissa Yeager, 41 Action News.